good clap. We're in the house. We're in the house. Timmy's got his arms out. I need to go to the gym. What is going on? You're good, me? bro. I'm looking kind of doughy. I'm looking like Harden. What's going on? Hey, pandemic, man. It gets like that sometimes. It does get like that, bro. But it's too hot. Oh, my God. <laughs> you, man, don't know. The window's open. There's a fan here. Multiple fans. You lot don't know. It's so peak right but now. But we're here for you. This video has to get made. Enough talking. Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks. Back again with another First Impressions. It's been a long time. Ah, it's been a long time, but we're back. We've not done this in a while, but you guys have already read the title. In today's video, we're going to be sharing our thoughts and uh, opinions on the brand new, newly released, congratulations to Joel Embiid on his signature shoe of Under Armour, the Embiid One. Let's get it. Yeah. First and foremost, we actually touched on this topic in episode seven of our podcast. Indeed, we did. We actually haven't announced the podcast yet, have we? Do it right now, run it in. Pure Kicks has a podcast. Come on. Win by two, presented by yours truly. That's right. We are now seven episodes in. That's right. Uh, as of the recording of this video, our last episode was about Nike and if they are a monopoly in the, in, the, in, the, in the basketball yeah. shoe world. Obviously, it's your boy Flo and Timmy just That's talking right. about whatever really comes to mind, whatever pretty much. Mind. Yeah, man, we have a lot of unfiltered conversations on the there. The best kind. So the link to uh, our podcast homepage will be in the description box below. Bro, talk to me. We've got it here now. It's been announced. How is the MB1 looking to you? Go. The funniest thing, first of all, yeah, is when Damon Lillard came out and said, they look like Kyrie's. <laughs> and I hear it. No, low I key. I can't unsee it. Yeah, low key. It's I tough. can't unsee it. The first time I saw them, I didn't have Kyrie vibes. I didn't. Now that he said that, I've got Kyrie vibes. I ha peak. What was for me, I had Anatomic Spawn. That's yeah. all I had. Yeah, yeah, I saw yeah, them, yeah, I said, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, Anatomic yeah. Spawn was definitely inspired by this one with the wavy patterns in the traction, the upper alone. And I guess the Kyrie come from that kind of uh, those two fingers in the forefoot. Yeah. Which is exactly what Kyrie's had in basically all of his shoes. Basically every single So one. when you put them side by side, I think who was, I think it was the Grit and Grime podcast. Shout out to Grit and Grime. Um, they hit us on Instagram and said the same thing. Yeah. And so, yeah, you guys are right. I, see, I can't unsee it. I can't unsee it. Kyrie does make a lot of money for Nike. I mean, I the, don't know what the they're trying is there. there. Bruv. The formula is there. I, I think it does make sense because, yeah, Kyrie's shoes are off the shelf for yeah, a reason. Bro. For me, the thing that stood out the most is the traction. Oh, yeah, yeah it looks wavy. Yeah, the traction looks cold. I think we have, I think it's a, a pressure map. Traction oh, yeah, yeah, pattern yeah. We've seen that before. With the African continent. On I the see hill. it. Joel Embiid, well done. That is a wavy touch in the crib. You clocked it now. Did you notice know already? Did you clock it just now? Just now, just now. Just You're now, sick because I thought I clocked it too. <laughs> oh, I've only just it's hard, seen it. bro. As an African myself, that is it. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with this edition, man. I'm very happy to be here. I'm very happy to be here. So That's cool. dope. Oh, no, I like it. Yeah, of course, the traction about is wavy yeah. throughout. It's the, that kind of sound wave, that heat map that you already said. Exactly. It does the bit. It looks like it's going to do bits, which is kind of expected to. Yeah. Can't really tell much of the compound on it. And now, and we, and sorry, and one last, one last yeah. uh, uh, point to add is, you know, when we look at Andorama's track record, when it mm -hmm. comes to their traction, it usually bangs. It usually does. So this looks like it's going to bang. It usually does. And it's going to follow suit. Bro, let's talk about the cushioning. Yeah? Yeah. We've got two types. Hover in the heel. Lovely. Micro G in the forefoot. Also lovely. Why? To be honest with you, I don't really know if we're going to be Because, you know, like we say on the podcast, Joel Embiid isn't a sexy player. Like, he's not... I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think yeah, he is. His moves a, aren't saucy like that. Yeah, he's not... He's live, yeah, but he's, he's yeah. not the guy you want to imitate. So he's not the guy who needs micro-G in the forefoot. He would need hover throughout. He's a big person, mm -hmm. in my mind. Don't yeah, get yeah, me wrong, yeah, this yeah, is a yeah, signature yeah. shoe, so he gets what he wants and what he's comfortable in. I guess but my shoe is looking mad guardish. Yeah, I guess a lot of big men do like guard shoes nowadays. True. And I think the reason is because of the court field that they provide. Do you know Good what I'm point. And especially a player like Joel Embiid, 
although he is a big man, mm. low key, he's a footwork god. There you go. His yep, there's your answer. Is sexy. There's your you know answer. There's so, your answer. There's why someone would need it. That's probably where, that's probably where right. the, 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 the micro G comes from. The upper is an open mesh yeah. for breathability, which we've known and understand. And it looks like there's some type of overlay in the heel, which obviously gives him that kind of ankle lockdown around the ankle collar and that kind of back yeah. of the foot um, lockdown, which is obviously supported by the TPU support wing in the forefoot, which we talked about earlier. Yeah. Colorway wise, because I know it kind of pops with this TPU wing here, cold. It's cold. I love it when they go black with a pop of color. That's yeah, one of my I know you miss favorite I know you colorways miss on any miss shoe. That's what I'm saying. It's looking very gardish. It's looking very gardish. And I feel like this, it, it, it makes sense, especially yeah. with, the, with, the, with the game of basketball now being a position of sport. Yeah. Um, position of game, sorry. Um, you know, we do see a lot, a lot of big men now wearing guard shoes. That's it. You know? And again, if Jarrell if Jarrell wants to sell these, it's really that. It's really know, down he, to he, that. He has to, he has to, he has to make sure that that, that they're attractive. So let's talk about the logo. On the back, there is a colorway icon, which I'm assuming will change depending on the shoe. Right. Um, which is dope. Um, so excited to see those. Let's talk about his logo, the Embiid logo on the tongue. <sighs> exactly. This logo is crap. There's my answer. It's trash, bro. That's it. It's trash. Why is it trash? Because it's missing vital information. Is that? What's he trying I'm to do? I'm guessing it's a J-E. Is that a J-E? But I see a two. But he's number 21. So where's the one? <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't say anything to that. Do you is know it what upside saying? down? No, it looks like a I don't peanut. know, man. There's a downwards arrow. Why would it be a downwards arrow? Or it's, yeah, it's a downwards arrow. It's definitely an arrow. Uh, you guys can let us in the comment section below uh, where you think his inspiration for that logo comes from. It's a mad logo. It's a very mad logo. It's not even a mad logo. It just looks confusing. You know what it is? You know, it's one of those logos that someone's going to tell us what it is and we're going to be like, oh, yeah, well, I hope yeah, it's that type of logo. Because yeah. if someone tells me what it is and I still don't see it, I'll be very, very yeah, upset. Yeah, yeah. But I really hope it's that oh type of logo. Yeah. I'm hoping. I mean, deep in it again, this mesh is wonderful though. There's a lot look of very it. Very nice. There is a lot of mesh, pretty much everywhere. Yeah. They look cozy. They look very. I'm very excited. To I'm excited to put these on. I think. I am. I am. I this am, is am, a am. great first shoe. Hundred percent. Obviously, we haven't hooted them yet. No. Nope. But you know, look at the technologies in that. They look like they'll be a beast on court. To have a dual cushion setup is always a good shout. Yeah. Especially on the first shoe have that dual cushion which obviously no one else uses air but nike um micro g with that hover which is somewhat brand new relatively new um i'm excited yeah i'm excited anything else no that's it i think that's it Embiid one Embiid one congratulations to all Embiid. you're part of the signature family now part of the under armor signature family yeah and um you're now about to get grilled by pure kick so make sure the shoe comes correct because we're going to have lots of things to say about it. And that's, that's it now. That's it. You're on one. We're going to be on you for two, three, four, all of them. We wish you all the best of luck. Make sure your shoes keep going up. But just know, Pure Kicks is on the case. All right? So also, don't mess about. we support the thing. Africa logo is Come cold. on. We love to see it. We love to see it. Make sure the shoe bangs. That's everything from us. If you guys enjoyed this first impressions, make sure you like this video. Yep. Yeah, it adds to the YouTube algorithm. You know what it and is. And we need that help, we need that support. That's it. So like this video. Yep. And of course, comment down below what your thoughts are of the Joel Embiid ones. Yep. Embiid ones. Do they bang? Do they not bang? Mm -hmm. Are you excited to hoop in them? Mm -hmm. Let us know. Yep. And the most important thing, come on. Subscribe to our channel. Subscribe. Smash that subscription button. Every time. Hit that bell. That's right. Stay notified every time you drop a new video. Be, -le -le -le. Be an active subscriber. That's it. That's what we need from you. Oh my God. And as we mentioned in the beginning, don't forget to follow us over on your favorite podcast platform for the Win by Two podcast presented by Pure Kicks. That's your boys. Yeah. Links will be in the description box for all of them. And our Pacific episode on the Nike Monopoly and signature shoes across the league will also be down there yeah. as well. So make sure you check that out. Get involved in all the conversations on Twitter, on Instagram, or even on here. Hashtag Win by Two Pod. Let us know what you have to say about the podcast and get involved in that conversation. And you might get a shout out on the pod. 
I would be active and, uh, and risk it, quite frankly. Win by two pod every single time. Love. So, all right, guys, there you have it. Wear pure kicks. Let's get it. <laughs>